local match between the First Division newcomers Luton and Notts County. Now Luton were looking for their first victory since winning the Second Division Championship. Your commentator at Kenilworth Road is Jerry Harrison. One draw at Spurs, one home defeat by West Ham. The lesson so far for this unchanged side, physically it's harder than some expected. Mistakes are heavily punished. But no double cover here today as Yugoslav Radiantic, who has been playing as a sweeper at the back, is pushed forward more. The principles remain the same, though. Attacking football with new record signing Paul Walsh, still only 19, slowly building up a striking partnership with Brian Steen, last season's leading scorer with 21 goals. Well, Notts County readjusted to the first division at this time last year with some exciting, if inconsistent, football. Two draws so far, still without last year's leading scorer and player of the year, Ian McCulloch, and further injuries now to the Finn, Aki Latinen. One of the barriers, a comparatively small Luton forward line must beat, six foot four and a half, Brian Kilcline. And one they must stop, winger John Chidozzi, as nippy as anyone in the British game. The referee here is Martin Bodnam from Brighton, his first league game of the season. So on a pitch which has quite a bit of grass, but is very hard on a hot, sultry day, both sides still looking for their first win. Radi Avramovic. Worthington to Hunt. Stevens doing well there. Steen changing it to David Moss. Money overlapping in there. And Teach. Moss going forward. Richards clears in some panic. Walsh. Walsh still with it. Walsh battling here. Oh, a brilliant effort. Superb play by young Paul Walsh. And the crowd really giving him a big hand for that. An awkward, tricky ball, but before that he turned it away and then getting on the end of it, almost did it past the Yugoslav Abramovich. And away goes Mark Goodwin with Christie and Chidozzi pushing up. There goes Nigel Worthington, but Stevens has that. Klein and Ricky Hill comes fast into that space good cross and it's there Paul Walsh the new boy opens his account and what a super goal it was the clearance from Kill Klein Ricky Hill was onto it fast it's an early cross he doesn't dwell on it and young Walsh, five feet eight, leaps high and steers it past for number one. Well, that's a nice opening for Walsh and some tremendous encouragement for Luton. And a throw for County by John Chidozzi. Phil Klein not getting involved at the moment, but now he's coming forward. But he's not involved in this one. Hard one for money, Chidozzi. Hunt getting in there, it's a good header. Great save too. Tricky looping effort. Well, he's not particularly tall, a Hunt to do. He's not particularly tall, but it was a good header. Corner to be taken by Harcook with Kilcline, Goodwin and Christie making different sort of runs. Kilcline. Too, too simple. Well, there are a few diversionary runs there, leaving the space for the big fella and gratefully accepting a fairly simple goal. They're running all over the place at this stage, leaving a hole here, which he fills. Bang, into the back of the net. Finlay didn't have a chance. And once again, Luton have been caught by a set piece. Horton, Stevens out there. Hunt had a clatter at him. Moss. Ford for Antich. 
Walsh, a nice little touch. Antti's chipping one forward. Ricky Hill, just too strong for him. He's got money behind him. Good year. Neatly played. But an easy one for Kill Klein. Just too strong. Oh, but well played by Brian Steen. Walsh gives him a return. Nice play. Crossed. And Walsh is there. Moss. Oh, how did that not get itself into the back of the net somehow? Again, Walsh and Steen over on that right-hand side of the penalty area worked the ball beautifully. Into the penalty area, and Walsh picks it up so quickly. Now, surely, there's going to be an opening here. Not for Moss, and not for anybody else when Haku comes in. Oh, nearly another one there as David Moss came in on that one. Well, it's really flying about that Notts County goal. With 30 minutes gone, but the score is 1-1. Worthington for County. Goodwin. Goodwin might have helped keep Brian Horton quiet, but he hasn't done too much himself. And that's a better ball for Chidozi. As Donaghy comes over, that's a great effort! What a goal that was! Poor old Jake Finley stood there aghast. Well, they could go out of the ground, that sort of a shot, but that's a terrific ball forward in front of uh, Chidozi. Now, as the cover comes over, he decides, well, I might as well have a go. And what a go. Goalkeeper never saw it. Wonderful goal there by John Chidozi. His first of the season, and it puts County in front. Moss keeps it in. Nice play, Ricky Hill. Comes off Phil Klein, who's a busy fella in both penalty areas, keeping Hill out there. And another corner. Mal Donaghy getting up over the far side of the penalty area. Ricky Hill on the near post with Walsh. Donaghy! Oh, it was an opening, and he knows it. That was certainly comfortably. An opening the same way as Kill Klein's was. Over the players on the near post, into Donaghy coming in. Well over the top. Clash of heads there, which hurt both of them. Well, here's the incident. Can so easily happen. Two people genuinely challenging for the ball. Money got it first, and then Christie came in and hit him. And that, I'm afraid, is the bloody result. He looks as if he's recovered okay. Bit of a lump there, perhaps. Stevens in there. Walsh! Brilliant save! He's so nippy. Terrific cross from Kirk Stevens. And he's moving fast, diving well. But so's the goalkeeper. Walsh very popular here already. Here's Donaghy going again. But that was good here. Hill! Whacked into the back of the net. 2 2. It looked to be developing into one of those days when it wasn't going in for Luton, but it dropped nicely there for Ricky Hill. It's Clive Goodyear at the back competing here, and he does it well. And it's back in there. Ricky Hill's just waiting here, and in it goes. So that's 2-2, a couple of minutes before half-time. And Luton, in fact, have also made a substitution. They brought on... Michael Small, there he is, challenging there. So obviously Richard Munn is going to take no further part. And there's the whistle for the end of what has been a marvellous first half. Terrific entertainment, four goals, could have had more. 
Well, I suppose that's one advantage of having a bit of room on the terraces. You pay to stand, but you get a seat for half-time anyhow. 